Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Discover at Home. My name is Annie McDonald, the Naturalist and Volunteer Coordinator at North Lakeland Discovery Center up in beautiful Manitowish Waters, Wisconsin. Today, what we are going to talk about for our Discover at Home episode is we're going to take a little walk in the woods, see if we can find some interesting uh, wildlife signs that we can chat about. Let's go for a walk. As you can see here, we've got some evidence of brand new beaver activity taking down this oak tree. So the beavers are getting a lot more active. They're coming out of their lodges trying to fuel up for the spring. Oh my God, Blair, you scared me. For everybody who hasn't met Blair yet, that's Blair the Black Bear. He is a resident at the North Lakeland Discovery Center. He usually is in our nature center. So when we open back up for business after the quarantine, feel free to swing by and say hi to Blair the Black Bear. You can get up close and personal with him. Let's see what Blair has well, to say. Hi there, Blair. Is there something specific that you wanted to talk to me about or that you wanted me to make sure that I said in our video since you decided to photobomb? Okay, I guess I'll take that as a yes. So we should make this a bear video? All right, we can do that, Blair. How about we play a game of bear trivia and let's see if I can stump the bear or if you find my questions too unbearable. Okay, Blair, first question. What is a male bear called? Is it called a buck, a drake, a boar, or a yogi? Take a second here to answer. Ready for the answer? It is C, boar. So a male black bear is called a boar. A female black bear is called a sow. Buck refers to a male deer. Drake refers to a male duck. And yogi, well that refers to a cartoon bear that really likes picnic baskets. Okay, so you got question number one. Good job, Blair. I'm gonna see if I can stump you with question number two. What is the diet of a black bear? Is it A, carnivore, B, are they herbivores, C, omnivores, D, pescivores, or E, honeyivore? Ready for the answer, Blair? And the bear's diet is, yes, an omnivore. So black bears are omnivores and they're generalists. So they have a wide diet consisting of lots of different plant materials as well as other animals. So they, uh, their diet changes throughout the year and throughout the seasons. In the springtime and early summer, after they emerge from their dens and hibernation, they feed heavily on grasses, roots, and other forbs. As then, as summer progresses and the berries start emerging, they feed heavily on berries like blueberries, blackberries, thimbleberries, wild grape. And then as we move into fall, they switch their diet again over to the more fat and protein rich nuts like acorns to fatten up for their winter period. They also do feed heavily on some other small mammals as well as white-tailed deer fawns. So they have a wide diet that changes throughout the year, making them an omnivore. Wow, good job, Blair. You've got a lot of self-awareness for a bear, but you should know what you like to eat. You often come to my bird feeders as well. That's why I have to take them in every night. I've seen you around the trash cans too, so watch yourself, Blair. Okay, number three. Let's give you some harder questions now. So if bears mate in mid-June through mid-July, and the sow or the female gives birth in January to February in her den, how long is the gestation period? That means how long is the female devoting resources to growing her cubs? Is it A, three and a half months, B, six months, C, seven months, or D, 12 months? So again, they mate in mid-June to mid-July, and they give birth in mid-January to early February. A, three and a half months, B, six months, C, seven months, or D, 12 months? And the answer is A, three and a half months. Nice job, Blair. So although breeding season is in late spring to early summer, 
Black bears exhibit an interesting adaptation called delayed implantation, in which the fertilized eggs don't implant in the uterus and begin development until the female bear enters the den for the winter in mid-October. This strategy allows the bears to expend energy on breeding activities during a time of year when food is abundant, and they still have time to gain weight during that fall prior to entering their dens. What an absolutely impossible adaptation. Oh, nice job, Blair. Well, you woke up for your, from your hibernation just in the last few weeks, and you've been coming around lately. You look pretty well rested, I gotta say. I would like to be able to take a five-month-long nap, but then I would miss ski season, so that's kind of a toss-up. So next question, question number four. When hibernating, how many heartbeats per minute does a black bear have? The average waking heart rate is 40 to 50 heartbeats per minute. So what is the average heartbeat per minute of a hibernating bear? Is it A, one beat per minute, B, 20 beats per minute, C, 12 beats per minute, or D, eight beats per minute? And the answer is D, eight beats per minute. That's right, Blair. Black bears exhibit a really interesting and unique hibernation physiology. In fact, bears in hibernation, they don't simply just have a slow heart rate. They exhibit what's called a respiratory sinus arrhythmia, which means they have a few fast beats during inspiration, so when they inhale, and then rest the heart between breaths. So these fast beats maintain blood flow to the brain, organs, and provide a level of exercise for the cardiac muscles, while yet maintaining a low respiratory rate and a low metabolism. They have a lot yet to teach us about medicine as well as other possibilities for the aging process that we're learning from hibernating bears. Now, that's an animal who knows how to survive on the bear minimum. Nice job, Blair. Your knowledge is nothing to be embarrassed by. Okay, one final question. What important role do black bears play in our natural environment? A, they aid in the process of decomposition. B, they disperse seeds of native plants. C, they influence prey species like deer. Or D, all of the above. And the answer is D, all of the above. Great job, Blair. So through foraging activities, bears tear apart logs in search of insects and grubs, which helps break down woody debris and aids in nutrient cycling. Bears also eat a large amount of soft fruits, which they swallow whole, things like thimbleberries and blueberries, and they travel throughout large home ranges, anywhere from 7 to 30 plus square miles, dispersing seeds through their scat. And they're a predator of white-tailed deer fawns, particularly in the month of June, which can in some cases impact deer populations and movements. All in all, bears are pretty extraordinary. Well, Blair, you did a great job on our quiz today. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. And you know quarantine is getting to you when you start having conversations with a stuffed bear. But at least I'm not talking to a finger puppet. Actually, I'm not sure which one is worth. Thank you guys for tuning in. For more information about the North Lakeland Discovery Center, check out our webpage, www.discoverycenter.net. There you can find information about our trails, our facilities, our programs. We hope you are all taking care of yourselves and staying healthy, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.